Well, good morning. Today we are going to answer one of the most asked questions about Fords. If your Ford did not come with a wireless keypad, can you add your own? The answer is yes. Stick around. So for whatever reason, Ford decided to remove the keyless entry keypads from a bunch of different models this year. Um, it's early 2024 if you're watching this in the future. But the good news is that you can add these keypads after the fact. They're available on Ford accessories. I, this one right here is one of them. There's two variants depending on if you have remote start or not. I will put parts numbers down below so you're welcome to check them out. You can order them from Ford accessories. You can all also order them from your dealer's parts counter and then your dealer can uh, install it and program it for you. But the one question I always see online is can you program these yourself without the help of a dealer? The answer is yes, you can. And we're gonna do that today. Well, let's get started. What you will need is um, FDRS, which is the official dealership software tool. It's, it's Ford's official software. All your dealerships use it. Um, and obviously you'll need an adapter and a laptop. I have an entire video on how to get started with FDRS. If you're unfamiliar with it, go check it out. It'll be linked down below. So let's get this plugged in. How did you get tangled? You were just wrapped up. I don't understand this. What the fuck? Okay, here we go. Can he do it? Not opening the door. Yes, he can. Maybe. Oh, I can. Nice. Turn it on. And let's go get my table. Okay, let's go. So, welcome to FDRS. Let's get started. So once you get into FDRS, you get it connected to the vehicle, all that jazz, you'll be greeted with this screen. We'll want to go over to the toolbox tab. And then we want to, uh, I believe the wireless keypad is under BCM. Let's look. Da, 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 da. There it is, remote keyless entry. Download. Wait for that to download. Oh, that was quick. And we'll go ahead and hit run. And from here, it's literally just, uh, it's literally just following the instructions. So of course we will want to program the transmitter key code to the vehicle. We hit select, turn on ignition position two, already there. Enter keypad serial number. So let me go get that. When you get your wireless keypad, you will be given a card that looks like this. This is the back of the card because I'm not going to show you for the front of the card. The front of the card has the key pass code for this and that would be foolish of me. So card looks like this. I will probably take a picture of this and then Photoshop it so you can't actually see the code. But what you'll need from that is the serial number. So the serial number for my keypad, which again, I'm not going to show you. And then all we got to do is wait. Now that's all plugged in. The synchronize, press the OK when the bar graph begins. Similarly, you press the 7 and 8, 9 and 10. So, keypad here. Let's go. Good. Now we just got to test it. Turn the ignition key off position to exit learn mode. All right. Well, I can't actually get it from this side. I got to go to the other side. <laughs> All right, that is um, that's that's li that's literally it. Like uh, I I know you probably expected something harder than that, but that's that's literally it. All I gotta do now is click exit. So let's try it out. So to show you how this works, I'm gonna go ahead and program a personal entry code. You can enter a customized code if you want. If you don't want to use the master code, I obviously don't want to show you the master code. So I'm gonna set a personal entry code. This piece of paper came with uh, came in the box with the entry pad. If for whatever reason you didn't get this piece of paper, I'll go ahead and scan it and splash it on the screen while I go ahead and do this. So apparently all you gotta do is enter the factory code. Click, 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 one. And we are in programming mode. Then we'll do our own key. One, three, five, three, one. Cool, we're programmed. So the range on this guy is actually really, really good. You can, you know, of course, stick it in the factory spot. You can put it on the B pillar. You can put it on the rear door. I know a lot of Bronco owners like to put it right here behind the fuel door. The choice is entirely yours. But just to give you an idea of what kind of range it's got, let's go ahead and lock it from back here. 
It is already locked. Let's go ahead and verify. Yep. All right. One, three, five, three, one. There you go. It's unlocked. It's pretty good. Pretty awesome. That's, uh, well, there you go. What are we doing with that stick? I'm not sure. One more thing to note before we wrap this up. Some of you will have noticed that there is a secure code key card by the interior fuse box on the Bronco. It's behind this trim panel. That's where it is on most Ford vehicles, actually. That key card looks like this. You will notice, this is the back of it again. You will notice it looks very similar to this key card. Don't get the two confused. One is for secure code, one is for your wireless keypad. If your vehicle came in with the built-in keypad, that key card would be valid for that keypad. Like on my, my wife's escape up there, that's, that key card code is valid for that keypad. But that secure code card is not valid for your new wireless keypad. It's got its own master key. So keep that in mind. Don't get the two confused. Make sure you don't lose the cards, obviously, but don't get the two confused. Um, if for some reason you do lose the code, uh, dealer, your dealer can look it up for you. So again, if you don't want to do this yourself, you can have your dealership do it. They're going to follow literally the exact same steps I just followed. Your dealership can definitely do it. I know FDRS is kind of pricey to get into. The upfront cost is a little bit up there, but you know, if you have a lot of Fords, I think it's, I think it's worth it. I really do. FDR, you can do a lot of cool stuff with FDRS and Foreskin actually. Here, let me show you. Watch this. See that? That's Foreskin. By the way, there's going to be a bunch more FDRS and Foreskin videos coming down the pipe. So if you want to see them, stick around. That's going to be it for now. You can contact me here, Bronco Nation, Bronco 6G, or the Ford Bronco subreddit Discord server. That's still a mouthful. Feel free to contact me, ask me questions, whatever you need. That's all for now. Have a great week. Bye. So for whatever, would you shut up? So for whatever reason this year, oh my God. <laughs> so for whatever reason, <laughs> come on guys. So for whatever reason this year, would you, would you all shut up? You, you, I see you up there. Go, go stop. You too, all of you shut up. Nobody needs to talk. I'm talking. It's me, it's my turn.